somebody. And, and, and the magazines and, and the coverage of the pictures. And a lot of people don't, a lot of people, if God don't anoint our minds, we can't see things that we need to see. Come on, I'm teaching good. Don't y'all, come on, y'all wake up here. This word too good. If God does not anoint our minds, something can be right in front of us. We'll look at it, but we won't see the evil. I mean, know what I'm talking about. And I looked at several pictures from influential couples. And in every picture, they had the man behind the woman. The woman had the man's hand and she was out front. And some of you sitting there, what's wrong with that? Everything is wrong with it. Come on here, somebody. Donna can't leave me. Not if I'm where I need to be. She can't leave me. That ain't no knock to her. She's a strong woman. She's an intelligent woman. She's a saved woman. She's a sanctified woman. But she wasn't ordained to leave. Now, if you're a woman and you take offense to that, see something wrong with your spirit. Well, I, don't, I don't need a man. No, you need a man. Men are needed. See, don't feed your spirit that mess. You may, you may be saying you don't, right now you don't desire a husband, but, but don't take it to the extreme. I don't need no a man. No. No, men are too relevant in the world. I can't even get, I, I can't even get the brothers to just. Men and women are leading a carrying me. I often told y'all, some of the worst weight that a woman can gain is the weight of a weak man. Because it wasn't designed to be that way. In some cases, women are too aggressive and too masculine to be led. Come on, I'm going to set the record straight. See, sometimes, sister, you have to also know your place. Despite your intelligence, despite your gifting, despite your beauty and all of that, you still got to know your place and not become masculine in a society that wants you to be that way. <laughs> 